Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today's video is super exciting. I received a huge PR package from Yvette Beauty. Oh, I was so excited to get into this um, because if you're not new, you will already know how much I love the brand. Um, press glitters are one of my absolute favourite formulas. Um, I decided to create six looks because there's a lot of stuff here. Um, so this is the new collection. Um, I did receive this in PR um, a while ago. Um, so this is the Rave Bay palette. And this is just all press glitters the formula is amazing I did create a video using this um I believe it was for the Christmas Christmas with the vet beauty um anyways I did <laughs> use this in a video created a whole look using glitters they're amazing um I highly recommend them um I didn't use this in any of the looks today but I did use the out and about palette and um, this one I did by myself look at those mattes oh, stunning um, I did use this in the final look which you'll see so yeah guys the PR package oh my word firstly there is this new duochrome water activated liner palette this is Too Faced look at these absolutely gorgeous um, I've used one out of the four so far, but I will get around to trying the rest of them. I I love the water activated liners from Yvette Beauty. I received also this, um, they're not all in here because some are down the side, um, ready to me, ready for me to write up in the description box below that I've used. Um, there were 10 of these um, flakes, one of them is a multi-chrome flakes the rest are duochromes they are stunning and the color selection is beautiful um, then also there were these five quads so we have the electric sky quad absolutely stunning neon pink and yellow um, in this one there is one press glitter one shimmer and two mattes and then we have the plur palette and this one is one shimmer one glitter and the two mattes and then there is rave mom and this one here again is a shimmer a glitter and two mattes beautiful um this one here prism this one is two shimmers and two pressed glitters check that out how amazing is that going to be at christmas Ooh. um and the last of them is Insomniac. This one has two pressed glitters and two mattes. Absolutely gorgeous. So yes, Mylene Vet, thank you so much for sending me these products. I hope I've done them justice in the six looks that I have for this video. Um, guys, let me know what you think of all these looks in the comment section below. And yeah, if you would like to see most of these products in action then just keep on watching okay guys so just before we start I had already filmed look one um, but the footage corrupted or something anyway so I'm refilming but because I've lost out on some time I'm gonna film two looks one on each eye um, so the following look you will hear me say that it's look two um, but it's look three now so the first eye I'm going in with Electric Sky. Um, this I already filmed with, um, but the footage didn't work. Um, so I do already know these are amazing, but I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so first going in with the yellow. This yellow, oh, you wait, you wait till you see. And I'm gonna take this kind of in my crease and up I have already done my base makeup and uh, up here in my eye where's this hair I'm 
I have already done my base makeup um, and also I primed this eye with the P. Louise Base Pro in Rumor 02 and at the moment I'm just packing and then just slowly blending upwards. I cannot get over how amazingly well this yellow shows up. Um, and I can imagine on a white base even more so. Um, oh, this is so beautiful. When I opened this PR package, oh my word, I was blown away. Um, I generally am not really a quads kind of person, but I can get on board with these, most definitely. Just look at the pigment on that. It is just amazing so I'm taking it right up to the brow but just by blending I'm not packing it on under the brow just blending it up there I think I'm actually going to do a slightly different shape than what I originally did with this quad just because well because I can and I think it will go even nicer, nicer, better. Oh, this, honestly, guys, just look at this yellow. If you can hear the banging, I apologise, um, but there's a lot of construction work going on across the road. And if I wait for them to finish, I would never get anything filmed. So... We're just going to have to kind of grin and bear it for now. Look at that. Look how beautifully that shows up. Stunning. And then, oh, I took that on a Spectrum A12. And I'm also taking the pink matte on a Spectrum A12. Another one. And this is going to go right in the crease look at this look at that pigment i'm just going to take it kind of up into the yellow a bit tap off but you can just see how amazingly pigmented the shade is so I'm going to just gently bring it up and into the yellow. Guys, seriously, look at this. Oh, she has done such a fantastic job. And then towards the outside, I'm just going to just gently, very light touch, blend it up. And into the yellow. Oh, my I am just amazed by the quality of what well, in particular this yellow because yellows seem to be really hard to formulate especially once it's shot this bright and beautiful and then I am going to go back in and re-intensify it right in the crease and then I'm just going to go just back over those the edge or the join with the brush I used for the yellow. I'm not adding any additional product, just meshing them together a bit better. I am loving how this is looking. So I am next going to go in with the pink shimmer and I am going to I'm just going to lay that down all the way across my lid, not being particularly careful. This is beautiful. I haven't put down a prime, like glitter primer or anything. I'm just going with, I'm just going with the shadow itself. Guys, that is stunning. Um, I am now going to go in with the glitter. I am going to take it on my finger 
because I just want to kind of diffuse it out across the lid. I kind of use a brush, it's more concentrated. And that is not what I want. Now that, that is, that's looking really pretty. So I am going to take the brush used for the pink. Now I'm just going to bring that down onto the lower lash line. Just connecting it up to the top there. And then just the brush that we used for the yellow. I'm going to We'll add just a little bit more. And then I'm going to take that right away up the edge of the pink there and just blend it in. I am loving how this is looking. Okay, so for my inner corner, I am going to go in with one of the duochrome flakes. I believe these ones are cluster. Um, I will have a, a check. I've had a look on the list. I think that's what these ones are because they haven't got the names on the back. So if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I'm going to add just a little bit of the NYX Glitter Primer to my inner corner. And then I will add some of these flakes super excited this is one very full pot you really get your money's worth so just taking a bit of the nyx glitter primer i'm just going to kind of pat it pat it around this in a corner maybe up a little bit And then, I, you just using the same brush, I'm going to dip into those flakes and I'm going to add them to the inner corner. These are stunning. They've got pink and yellow shifts to them. Check out. I am trying to make sure that in these looks I use kind of as many of the products as possible. I am going to go in with a bit more of the pink mattes. So I do think now that under here does need just a bit more definition. Now that we've placed that down. Oh, this is amazing. And then a bit more of the yellow just to blend out the edges of that. Okay, I am loving this, absolutely loving it. So I think I'm going to do look two before finishing everything off. So uh, I'll do all the finishing touches when I do the finishing touches for this eye. Okay guys, so I've primed this eye now using the P. Louise Base Pro in Room Missouri 2. And the next quad I'm going in with is this one here, this is Pleur. I haven't tried this one yet, so I am super, super excited. I am going to go in with this shade, the orange shade on the inner part of my crease and then the green on the outer part and go from there. So for the inner part, the orange, I'm going to use this Morphe brush, um, it hasn't got a name or number, and go into that beautiful orange. I'm 
just patting it down at the moment. I will go in with a bigger, bigger brush to blend out, I would imagine. We'll see. I just want to make sure I've got this shade down properly where I want it. This really builds up beautifully. These shades are so gorgeous. So just packing it in the crease and then just flicking it up upwards I'm loving the look of this um, and then into the green mat with a spectrum a12 and this one is um, it, they're not going to kind of blend together but that's okay that's not really that's not really what I'm looking for Now I'm going to take this just on the outer part of my lid here. I'm just dabbing over the join just so that it's not a completely stark line. Um, but they're not going to blend together. It's not not going to work but that's okay it doesn't always have to be perfect sometimes it's just nice to play and be a bit different but i'm going to really pack that in the crease and on the outer part of my lid there and then just gently flick it up and out and dab over that line. Oh, I'm not going to go over that line anymore because I think that's kind of the best we're going to get. I am going to gently feather the edges here. This is looking so pretty. Love it. I do have a black in one of the other quads but I'm trying, well, for at least these first few looks, just to show that each one palette can make a look. Obviously I've added the flakes on the inner corner, but you don't need to do that. You can add any highlighter. Um, I just wanted to you know, try out another one of the products. That is beautiful. Um, okay. So, how are we going to do this? I think I'm going to save the orange shimmer, or am I? No, no, I know what I want to do. I'm going to take some of the orange shimmer. It's the only orange shimmer there, so you all know which one I mean. And I'm going to place that all across my lid. They are more your standard shimmers, but they hold their own so well. That is beautiful. And then just using my little finger, I'm going to go into the green glitter just a bit. And I'm going to use that just to kind of go in between where the matte and the shimmer is. I'm taking it up and into the green just to add a little something something more and oh it's beautiful and you see how that kind of takes away that sharp line between the orange and green just dabbing that glitter over these glitters are absolutely amazing one of my absolute favorite glitter formulas just look at that beautiful there's no fallout it's just they're just amazing but then if you are not new to my channel you already know what I think of these so 
So I'm going to take the brush and get some more of that orange and I'm just going to place that along the front part of my lower lash line and then in with the green just to tie that together the upper and lower I'm loving this and I'm going to take a teeny tiny brush this is from Lois Cosmetics I'm just going to go into that orange shimmer and just place that over the mat at the front there oh, it's beautiful right I'm I don't know what the names of these flakes are um, these ones are greeny so like green and orangey gold yes beautiful so I am going to pop a bit of NYX glitter primer on the inner corner there and I am taking some of those flakes and just pressing pressing them over where I've popped the glitter primer okay I'm loving both of these looks I'm actually quite happy that the footage for the first look cropped it because I'm actually happier with the look I've done here and I'm loving this one too so guys I'm gonna nip off finish my face and then I will come back to show you finished looks number one and two so don't go anywhere okay guys so here are finished looks number one and number two let me know what you think in the comments section below I'm just gonna let you know a couple of the bits I popped on my face everything will be listed in the description box below um, for if I don't mention it and you want to know what it is so I will start with the face things so for contour stroke bronze I went in with the peaches and cream sculpting powder light to medium I love that and uh, my blush is from Pout and Shout it is Contrary Mary and look at that shade it's so pretty um, the highlighter is from Yvette Beauty in the shade Frost um, I did receive this in PR a while ago um, I love it it is a more glittery glitzy highlighter um, so yeah if you don't like the glitter particles you probably won't like it um, but if you don't mind that it is as you can see I don't know if you can see because my hair absolutely stunning um, so my eyes um, I use the Yvette Beauty Lash Adhesive Eyeliner, I love this, um, this also I received in PR a while ago, um, but I'm always using it and recommending it, it is amazing, and then the lashes are from Artitude Cosmetics in the Style Extra, I'm not going to show you the box, I don't know why I always feel the need to do that. Um, in my waterline on this side, look one, I use the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Insomniac. And then for look two on this side, I use the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in UNTZ. Um, loving it. And then for my lips, um, this is one of Yvette Beauty's liquid lipsticks. I did receive this in PR. Um, this is in the shade 626. And as you can see, it's stunning. It's super bright. I love it. Um, so yeah, guys finished looks number one and number two and now I will hand you on over to look number three even though at the time I say it's look two so if you want to see that just stay where you are okay guys so for look two I'm going to be using the rave mum quads and this is what she looks like so there's two mattes a shimmer and a pressed glitter um, I would have already said this in the first look that these pressed glitters are one of my absolute favourite formula. Okay, so I'm going to start with this shade up here. I'm just taking that on a Spectrum A12. Um, if I don't remember to sell brushes, then I do apologise. I'm terrible 
for remembering. But a lot of the brushes I use um, for this detail are Spectrum A12s. So I'm just going to take this all the way through the crease. I've been so impressed so far with the eyeshadows and the pressed glitters. Well, everything really from Yvette Beauty. The, uh, the liner and lash adhesive in one is amazing also. I've been recommending that to, well, all of my friends that, that use those kind of products. I can't express how grateful I am to just have the opportunity to try all of these products and to have just I don't, met such a wonderful person because Mylene Yvette is just such a beautiful person inside and out and I'm honoured that she wants to send me anything. Um, I still can't quite believe it. I did prime my eyes with the ABHI primer. This colour is showing up beautifully. It's pigmented. It's so pretty. So pretty. Well, you can see that for yourselves. Okay, so that is looking really good. So I am going to, what do I want to take? I'm just going to take another Spectrum A12 and go into this shade here. And I'm going to use that just to kind of add another colour on the edges, kind of like what do you call it? Like a halo? Because I think this is going to... I think this is going to work beautifully. These shades are just stunning. I just wanted to do something maybe a little bit different. Just... Just to kind of show the different things that can be done with these shadows. And we'll go back in with the first shade in a minute just to make sure they are blended together beautifully. But oh, this is just looking so beautiful. actually blending together really really well as soon as i opened the pr package i was like oh my god the i'm not generally a big fan of quads um but i think these have just been curated so nicely that i, I just love them and i love how you can mix them together um but initially i wanted to do a look with each of them just to show you that you can create a look with with just one of them and just dip back in with that purple I just want to kind of re-intensify that right in the crease here and then just kind of feather it up and into blue is that blue or purple? I don't know what you call that. Okay, so I've just gently put a bit of the the kind of blue purple purple on my lid. Um, I'm loving how this is looking. I'm just going to quickly take this Jessup Two Two Seven Look Soft Definer, and I just want to go around the very edges just to make sure they are blended out nicely. Okay, so I'm just going to pop a bit of the W7 Sparkle Stay. It's the Glitter and Shimmer Primer. I'm just going to pop some of that on my lids. So I am first going to go into the Shimmer. Oh, this just looks so stunning. And I am 
literally just going to pack that all over my lid. I'm going to take that just a bit higher. What I'll probably do is blend that in with a brush. Okay, and now I'm just going to use the brush I used for the purple shade. And I'm just going to kind of blend the edge of the shimmer. Okay, and now I'm just going to use my finger for this. Go into the glitter and I'm just going to dab that all across the lid. If I was doing more like packing it on and more detailed look, I would use a brush, but I just want it. For the sparkle that I'm getting everywhere. But I just want it for the sparkle. I know for those of you who don't like glitter, you're probably not gonna love these. But if you are open to glitter or if you like glitter, I can highly recommend the glitters from Ivet Beauty. I love them. I have a whole palette of glitters, um, which I'll probably show you in either the intro or the outro because, oh, they're just stunning. I am loving how that's looking. So, what we're going to do. I'm going to quickly head off and pop on the rest of my face. I will come back to do finishing touches like the under eye and the inner corner. So if you would like to see that, then just stay where you are. Okay, guys, so I've put my base on. Everything I've used will be listed in the description box below um, if you wish to check that out. Um, so let's continue. So I think... think what I'm going to do let me I'm going to dip first into the purple and tap off and I'm just gonna run that oh that was my dog I'm just going to run that up against the lash line Pretty. Ooh. And then I'm going to go into the more blurply one and I'm going to just take that all the way, take that all the way along. So it's kind of mixing mixing the two okay I'm I'm liking how this is looking I'm going to take a bit of the shimmer and I'm just going to take that with no nothing added and just right against the lash line that is looking good so i'm thinking for my inner corner i've got the multi flakes here multi chrome flakes um this is the shade aura and i'm thinking i'm gonna pop these on let me grab the glitter primer i'm gonna pop some of this on the inner corner um so i'm just gonna quickly pop on a bit of the uh, glitter primer first and then I'm just going to use the same brush and, and I'm just going to take just a few flakes. Oh, I 
this is gorgeous well check this out and then take a few times oh, I am absolutely living for these multi-chrome flakes okay so I'm gonna disappear again and finish my face and then I'll come back to show you the finished look so just stay where you are okay guys so this is finished look number two as you can probably tell I did add some more of the multi-chrome flakes aura um, to the outside I felt like being really extra um, the blusher I have on is Boozy Susie from Pout and Shout I thought it went perfectly with this look the highlighter is Skywalker from Kaleidos one of the Space Age highlighters I don't know why I'm showing you the inside because they just look white um, in my waterline I went in with the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade I think it's Sub-Zero it's kind of a metallic goldy yellow um, I love it um, my lips are the are the is <laughs> from we makeup it's one of the ever liquid lipsticks in the shade 10 um i know it does have a name but it doesn't have it on here um i love the formula formula of this i can't speak i love the formula of this lipstick um so much i don't know why i haven't picked any more up yet uh we makeup is a European indie brand um, I have a few of the shadows they're amazing also um, so yeah guys finished look number two let me know what you think in the comments section below and I will now hand you on over to look number three okay guys so for look number four I'm going to be using the insomniac quad and this is what she looks like I'm going to start with the red mattes I'm going to start off with this brush from Artitude Cosmetics and then I'm just going to take that red and put it through my crease and blend it kind of up and out. I'm going to do quite a simple look um, for these, this look. Simple? Yeah, simple. I don't know, this is me. So it could end up not so uh, simple, who knows. Um, loving these quads, absolutely loving them. Pigments there, blendabilities there, everything you need. This colour is stunning. I'm going to really kind of pack it in the crease just to bring that red like deep deep just to deepen up the red just softening the edges as much as I can I am kind of going pretty much right up to the brow I'm loving this look so far. So I am going to take, where I take you? Um, just on a Spectrum A12, I'm going to take the black mattes. And we are going to place that right in this outer area here. This quad I haven't tried either. This the only one I had before uh, my footage was uh, not so great. Um, I had tried the pink and yellow one, but the rest of them I hadn't. I'm just trying to blend it a little bit into the red. This is a nice black. I will go back in with the brush for the red to blend them better but I am not mad at this at all so I'm just going to concentrate packing this 
on. This is a really gorgeous black. Okay, and then back into the reds. I am adding a bit more for this blending. And then back in with the brush for the black. Makes that a little bit more. Okay, so now for the lid, I'm first going to go into the black glitter. I'm super excited to try this. And I'm just going to kind of place that right on this outer area here, right into the black map I'm taking it right into it I'm not not being careful at all okay and then with a smaller brush I'm going to take the red glitter and I'm going to place that over the rest of my lid what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bit on my finger first I think I can always add some more with a brush if I feel like it so I'm taking it right into the crease. I will clean up underneath in a bit. Oh, look at that. Okay, and then just taking just a little bit on the brush. I'm just going to kind of tap that into that inner area just a little bit just to kind of diffuse it outwards oh i am loving how this is looking so i'm just going to clean up underneath i'm happy with how that's looking so far so i am going to prime this eye um just using the juvia's place eye prep eye prime eye primer in shade one um same as i used for this eye and then I will come back and we will get started on look five. So stay where you are. Okay, guys, so I'm back with my primed eye. Um, I'm going to be using this one, Prism. Um, they are all glitters and shimmers. So I will go back into Insomniac for the mattes. Um, so do I want to do kind of the same again? Let's just do, do the same again. So going into the red, and we're back to packing and blending as we go. I do love that you can build these up or pack them on or both. It's just, they layer nicely together, they build up nicely. I've been getting out of bed these past few days Think it's fair to be proud about it I quit ordering from all those fast food chains I'm feeling better, there's no doubt about it And my days are brighter Okay, so I am going to, I'm just going to use my fingers now please I'm going to dip into the black shimmer just to kind of give the other glitter something to blend into I think I am actually going to take this up and out into that as well I'm thinking actually I'm going to first go in with this silver shimmer um yeah let's go in with the silver shimmer and I just need a brush 
and I'm going to pop that all over the inner part of my lid. I don't know how much of it you're going to see once I start putting the glitter on, but all right. And then I am going to go in with this glitter here, and I'm going to place that all over the top. I think because I'm going over top of us, I just want to. Sure that it is covering. Look at that. How pretty is that? That is looking beautiful and quickly back in with the black shimmer and just a bit just to kind of kind of blend them okay guys i am loving this look so far so what i'm going to do actually hmm I think for where am I? Yeah, for my inner corner on this side, I'm going to go in with this glitter up here. I might do that for both sides actually. Let me get a little brush. Let's first see. Ooh. Ooh, I quite like that. I quite like that. I think also though, I am going to, just because I want to try everything, I'm going to go into the shimmer. And I'm going to dot that kind of over the inner corner here. Ooh. I am loving that. I think I am, while I'm in here, going to use the shimmer shade just on my inner corner on this side. I am loving this. So I'm going to head off, finish my face, I'll do my under eyes off camera and then I'll come back to show you finished looks number four and five. So just stay where you are. Okay guys, so I am back with looks four and five. Did I do it that way around? Yeah, four and five. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Uh, I'll just let you know a couple of the things I've popped on. So the lashes are from Artitude Cosmetics. They are in the style Heartbreaker. Um, I did receive these in PR and I love them. Um, in my waterline I used the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Sub-Zero. I thought the metallic yellowy gold would look really good. Um, let me know what you think. Um, my highlighter is from Yvette Beauty. It is the shade Frost. Um, I did also pop some of this on my inner corner and my brow bone. I used it for my brow bone highlight. Um, I love it. It's so, so good. It is a little glittery, but I really don't mind that. It looks absolutely stunning. The lipstick I have on is also from Avert Beauty. This is in the shade La Vie en Rose. La Vie en Rose. Um, I love these lipsticks. They go on and they stay put. Um, oh, my eyes. So, for my under eyes, let me have a think. 
Um, both sides I went in with the black right up against the lash line and then blended it out with the red. And then on the inner part of my lower lash line, I used this silver shimmer shade here. Um, I am so happy with how these looks came out. So guys, I'm gonna go and eat my donut because there's a donut waiting for me downstairs and I will hand you on over to the final look, number six. So don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so ready for look number six. I've primed my eyes with the P. Louise Base in Rumour Zero and I'm gonna start out by using the Yvette Beauty Out and About palette. Now I know it's not from this collection, but I want it for these beautiful mattes. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start out with, what are you called, Inspired. And I'm taking that on a Spectrum A12 and I'm going to just basically pack it all over this inner part here. And bring it up. This yellow is absolutely stunning. You'll have already seen the yellow from the pink and yellow palette. Um, the name escapes me right now. Um, but you will have already seen that um, in the is it look one. Yeah, look one. I absolutely love this palette. It is just a beautiful kind of rainbow matte. But I do love how with this one, I did buy this one myself. Um, but I love with this one that you could do, well, what I'm doing today, I'm using the top row, but as you can see, you can use all three rows are kind of color coordinated. You know what I mean. Um, and then for today, I'm just going to be using the top one. Um, you will have already seen, well, you may. There is a video up um, on my channel using this palette. Um, I would say I will link it, but I never, ever remember. I am so bad at that. But yeah, there, there are videos using products from Yvette Beauty up on my channel. I... I love the products as if you are not new you will already know I am a sucker for a small indie brand that has amazing products and just amazing owners because I think with indie brands generally you get just get such that personal touch and I appreciate that right I'm not going to bother blending that just yet. And then I'm going into, into Avalanche, the next one along. And again on a Spectrum A12. And I'm just going to, again, just pack this on. I will blend them all in a bit, not that these will require much blending because, well for one they're kind of in the in the same kind of colour family but also I know these shadows and how they work so I have worked with these before as you can see they're just kind of meshing into each other anyway without any blending necessary and then with another Spectrum A12, I'm going into Girls Like Girls. And this I'm going to take right next to the last one. These colours are just so, so beautiful. Uh, 
And then finally with another Spectrum A12, I'm going into Sophia. And I'm going to take that right on the very end here. Packing on first and then I will blend after. Okay, now I'm going to quickly just go through and re-intensify and blend all of these shades, so just a moment. I've been getting out of bed these past few days Think it's fair to be proud about it I've quit ordering from all those fast food chains I'm feeling better, there's no doubt about it my days are brighter, my shoulders are so much lighter Just for a moment there, I thought that there was nothing more to life I thought about it, wrote a couple songs about it Just for a moment there, I lost myself Okay guys, I'm quickly going to pop on some Nyx Glitter Primer and then we'll get on to the next part Okay, and just using the same brush, I'm going to dip into, I believe, this is Golden Hour I've been trying to work out the names of them, um, but yes, so this I am going to be popping all the way across my lid, I'm grabbing a lot so there is bound to be fallout, that is absolutely fine, they don't mind that. I'm going to quickly go through all of the um, matte shades and just kind of blend them not into it as such, but just so that it's not such a stark, a stark line. And then I'm just going to take the red and just kind of dab it into into this a bit. Okay guys, so I'm now going to go into the Too Faced Duochrome Liner Palette and I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is like a ready orange to yellow. It's beautiful. I'm just going to take one of my Makeup by Tammy um, liner brushes. This one's the Zero, which is slightly bigger. And I'm going to take this all the way along. Taking that right up and joining it on to where the, the flakes are. I can't speak. I love how over that red it just looks so beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Just look at that. And I am actually going to take this right from the inner part. and just shape that out I 
So I might have got a little bit carried away, but I am loving this and it's going to look a lot better with the rest of the makeup on. So I'm going to nip off, finish my face, and then I'll come back to show you finished look number six. So don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so this is finished look number six. The final one, I'm super happy with how it came out. Um, just quickly, I used this orange shadow here as my blush. I think it went really well. Um, I just wanted to try and use as much as I could of the products from Yvette Beauty. Um, the highlighter I went in with is from Pelt and Shout. It is Sunny Days and I thought this yellow highlighter was just perfect for just perfect for this look and in my waterline I went in with the She Glam Chromazone gel liner in the shade Subliminal these mod chrome liners gel liners from She Glam are so so good I love them so much and um, my lashes are from Glam Light they are the gingerbread lash I don't believe you can get them anymore unfortunately um, and on my lips it is the Yvette Beauty lip gloss in the shade Eileen um, I think this goes perfectly also so yes guys we have used I have used pretty much everything from the PR package um, oh these quads in particular this one oh my god this this yellow and the pink they're just phenomenal um, all of these quads are just so beautiful um, obviously I've only used the one out of the duochrome um, liner palette, the Too Faced liner palette, um, but you can see for yourself it is so amazing, absolutely stunning. So these duochrome flakes and obviously the multi flakes also are just beautiful, so easy to use. Um, I have zero complaints. I know I received this in PR, but I'm always, always honest with you guys. And I, I loved everything that I used. So yeah. And Mylene Yvette, thank you so, so much for sending, the, sending me these products and just having the belief in me um, to create content to showcase them thank you so so much i am eternally eternally grateful i do not take this for granted at all i am aware how lucky i am um but yeah guys these products are so so good um and of course vet beauty is a U u.s indie brand a small u.s indie brand with amazing products and amazing customer service i can't really say any more than that um i have thoroughly enjoyed creating all six looks it's been so much fun i cannot wait to play with um the products i haven't managed to yet and the ones that i have already as well so if you have stuck with me through all of this guys thank you so much for watching um if you've liked this please do give it a like if you're not subscribed already and you love colorful makeup you love supporting indie brands and maybe discovering some indie brands that you hadn't heard of before then please do subscribe um it would mean the absolute world to me my subscriber family are exactly that a family a family of friends um I love everyone, you are all the absolute best, I know I'm biased but still. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very very soon, bye.